Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And from today, we are going to start a new Bash shell scripting course, uh, an advanced shell scripting course. So I'll not be teaching you the basics. I'm assuming that you already know the shell basics. If you don't know, you can look into some of the videos which I have posted on Linux and the shell basics, basically. You can just go through them or you can just Google uh, Linux shell basics and you would actually get to know what, what are basically the basics of linux shell right so and shell scripting in general so we'll be covering some advanced topics in this particular course uh, but since this is the first video i'll be covering few basics so let i have actually created a file called course and i'll be showing you all these things which are there inside this particular file so we'll be covering how to comment how to run multiple commands in a single line or maybe parallelly uh, quotations so how are quotations different from i mean single quotations and double quotations how they are different in bash how they act differently then we'll go over through some bash expansion variable assignment assigning an output of a command to a variable and positional parameters so that's all we are going to cover this this is in fact also some basics i mean this is not even advanced topics but i thought uh, before we dive into the shell scripting the advanced shell scripting probably knowing these things is actually good. All right, so let's start with comments. So, I mean, let me clear the screen. So to comment any line or anything in most of the programming languages, I mean, you either use a hash or a forward slash, right? So in bash, it's hash. So suppose if I want to run a command, say echo, hello, I'll just say echo, hello. So it is run right but what if i want to comment it out so i'll just put a hash in front of it and you can see that this command is now commented so i'm doing this on a shell you can create a shell script and it will have the same effect as well so i'll show you when i'll write a small shell script right all right so this is how you actually comment and you would i mean the best practice is to use a lot of commenting in your shell script because over the time the shell scripting can get a little uh, you can say confusing for someone to read. They, I mean, they can become as conf as complex as any program you write in Python or Ruby or Golang or any programming language, right? So they can become that much complex. So using, I mean, using comment in your shell script is always a good idea. The next thing uh, I wanted to cover was to run multiple commands uh, uh, in a single line. So there are actually multiple ways in uh, shell to do that first one is to use a semicolon so let's say hello then i go of semicolon echo world and i just run them and you can see hello world is printed so that that's one way uh, another way is to use curly braces so i'll start with a curly brace and press enter now i'll enter some command say say hello I'll say world, I'll say pwd, and then I'll, at the end when I'm done, I'll use the close curly brace to close this. And as soon as I press enter, you can see all the commands are run. So it has echoed hello world, and then it has printed out the current working directory. All right, so that's how you actually run multiple commands. I mean, there's there i think there are more ways but i generally prefer these two ways uh, to run multiple commands all right so let me clear the screen let me just cat out the course file again and to see what was next so next is quotations so quotations in bash actually act a little different uh, the single quotation and double quotations so suppose if i do uh, for that what I'll do is I'll set a variable. So I'll cover the variable of assignment. So in uh, basically in bash, how you assign a variable. So I have a say where I'll define a variable and I'll set it equal to some string, say my word. So I'm, I couldn't come up with anything string. So this is how you set up a variable. So you should know that there is no space between where and equal to and equal to in my word. There should be no space. I mean, if you give the space, your variable wouldn't be defined in bash. So you just need to make sure that your variable, uh, there are no spaces when you're defining a variable. So to basically access this variable, what I can do is I can do echo dollar var and it will print out my 
uh, variable, right? What else I can do is I can put this inside a double quote and my substitution will still work. My interpolation will still work. But if I put this in single quotes, you see the substitution or the interpolation is not working. So that is the difference between using a single quote, a single quote and a double quote. So when you're using double quote, your interpolation works. But when you're using single quote, your interpolation doesn't work of variables, right? So you need to keep that in mind when you are using double quote and single quotes doing some echo. So echo is actually a very important command in shell scripting because you would use it a lot when you're troubleshooting your uh, shell script. So you would face errors in your shell script. It wouldn't work at some times, right? And to get what what's wrong, going wrong in your shell script, you would need echo. So echo is another, I mean, amazing command basically to tr help you troubleshoot your shell script. All right, so now let's come to expansion. So shell expansion, it's it's a, a very amazing thing. So I'll show you how, what, how you can basically uh, do. So suppose if you want to get uh, say number from one to 10, right? Or a range basically. So you can simply do echo one dot dot 10. And you can see it has echoed out all the numbers from one to 10. In a similar way, it works for character as well. I mean, that's, that's another thing. So if I want to get character from A to Z, you can see it can, I mean, you can simply get characters from A to Z. Uh, you can use this as a substitution as well. So suppose I want to create file say 10 files uh, with number say 1 to 10. So now what I can do is 1 dot dot 10. And if I do an LSFNLRT, you can see it has created file from 1 to 10, right? So this is the interpolation which you can use. All right. The next thing which we should cover is assigning an output of a variable, uh, output of a command to a variable. So this is actually very helpful uh, and you would use this uh, a lot when you are working with shell script. So suppose I have, a, uh, I mean, I do a cat on etc pass wd and I want to get the list of all users, right? So let me clear the screen. What I can do is I can pass this to an awk and an F and separator I would use as colon. And what I want to print is basically $1, right? So $1 is the first field, which is my username. So let's see if we get all the username. So you can see we are getting all the username. So this is useful, right? But what if I want to uh, set a variable with this particular output. I want to assign the output of this particular command to a variable. So that is very simple in uh, bash basically. So suppose I define a variable user and what I can do is I can set, sorry. So you, this is the way basically you define. So you do a dollar sign, then you open uh, a bracket. And what I can do is I can just simply copy this command come back here, put this command, and then close the bracket. So now if I do an echo on $user, you can see all the user's name have been assigned to this particular uh, variable. So I can use a simple for loop, say for i in $user. I can simply do echo $i, and you can see so now I can access all the users and I can do anything within this particular loop or uh, with these users. So, I mean, you can, and you would actually need a lot of, I mean, this thing which I've done and your shell script, right? All right. So probably the last thing which I want to cover is the positional parameters or uh, the command line parameters as you call them. So basically sometime you would actually need to pass some parameters to your uh, shell script. And bash by default uh, assigns them uh, a number. So let's create a, f a shell script. Say let's do a way I on my shell dot sh, and let's define the shebang. All right. 
and now what I'm going to do is I'll do a very simple thing basically inside I'll just echo say dollar one so dollar one is my positional parameter which I'll pass this to but I mean which I'll pass to this particular shell script right so this is just a one liner script right now let's change the let's make this file executable first and now I can do is my shell and I can pass this my name you can see it has echoed out my name so this is I mean how you use positional parameters uh, you I mean by default like by, I told you like default by default bash assigns a number so any number of parameters you pass bash assigns them number one two three in a similar way right so suppose you are passing five parameters to your shell script so bash will assign them number one number two number three number four and number five if you want to access the name of your shell script uh, I think what you can do is uh, echo dollar zero let me just see okay so I think I need to do that inside my script right so let's go inside my script and echo dollar zero all right so now if I run this so you can see it has printed out the name of my script and the parameter which I passed so that's I mean and you wouldn't use this uh, basically when you are setting up say the usage I mean if you want to show the usage of your script to your user you can use this dollar zero to basically show the usage and that's generally how people use that all right so this is it for the first lecture guys this is what I wanted to cover very basic things before we start and start writing some complex shell script I hope you like the video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving because we'll be creating very amazing scripts going forward and we'll be learning some really advanced concepts in shell scripting and there's a dog barking out so let's just simply forget that you heard that right all right so yeah thank you for watching guys please do subscribe to the channel before leaving